Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 86. Grimlock with Wheelie there. I have been after this figure for quite some time. I haven't seen him anywhere and then got a notification last Friday from Hasbro Pulse that they had him in stock and I got one just in time right before they sold out. So he just arrived today and he, he looks awesome and really, really big. This is actually a $50 leader class figure that is the size I would expect a leader class figure to be. So taking a quick look at the package, you got Grimlock here in robot mode. There's Wheelie, Grimlock in dinosaur mode with Wheelie, Transformers, Studio Series 86, Transformers the movie. Great artwork here on the side of Grimlock and Wheelie with Studio 86. On the side is the same artwork with a blue 86. Back of the box, you got Grimlock in robot mode, dino mode and there's wheelie once again so now without further ado let's get this dino bot out of the package and check him out and welcome to patriot prime reviews <laughs> Now, once you get Wheelie and Grimlock all opened up out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. You also have Grimlock's giant double barrel gun. I love the looks of that thing. You have Wheelie here, who is, there's not much to Wheelie. He's, he's an accessory. He's not really a transformer. So you've got him. And, of course, you've got Grimlock. You also have this background, which is looks like it's inside the Sharktacon pit. So if your display is large enough, you can display Grimlock and Wheelie just like that in the Sharktacon pit. So now let's take a closer look at the figures themselves. Now, first off, we'll take a look at Wheelie here. Now, Wheelie looks all right. He's got some great paint applications. got blue eyes, chrome face silver there around the face and very true to his cartoon movie counterpart the only issue is he's not a transformer he is just an accessory now he does have some articulation he's got ball jointed shoulders so the arms can do a complete 360 and they can go in and out same with this arm here the heads on a ball joint can look up and down do a complete 360 and the hips are ball jointed but he does not have ball jointed knees or elbows so he's always stuck in these poses now this does kind of make sense because if you look at the way his fingers are sculpted and he's got his slingshot he's in a firing a slingshot pose unfortunately i wish the slingshot came with some kind of band or maybe a energy blast effect to really add to the look but it is what it is now, another thing with the slingshot, this can come out. So you want to be very careful not to lose that tiny little slingshot. Now, I wish that this guy came with knees. I mean, he's in this constant squatting position, like he's 
taking a dump in the woods or something. But you can do some manipulation here, and you got, there's your superhero landing. Uh, let's see, what does I see people do? The dance move, the dab. So you, you got some playability with the guy, but he's he's really not much. You know, if we're going to get a Studio Series 86 wheelie, I wish he'd at least transform. He can interact with Grimlock, and I'll show that off later on. So there you go, guys. There is Wheelie. And now let's take a look at the main man himself, Grimlock. This is an awesome looking figure. He is so big and solid, which is what really surprised me. I mean, there's no gaps on this figure whatsoever, except right here at the wrist where the hands flip in. This makes me really miss the fact, you know, back in G1, all the figures had fists that would slide up into the figure. I, so I don't see why they can't bring that back instead of these horrible gaps. But other than that, this guy looks awesome. Check out the face sculpt. The face sculpt looks amazing, and I love the paint job on the visor. It almost has that, as we say here in West Virginia, that bass boat finish. It's kind of like sparkly blue. Now, he's got an Autobot logo here behind this translucent plastic, but it really doesn't show up. That needed to be a lot brighter or on the outside of this plastic. Now, I'm going to try to fix that with some toy hacks because right here, if you look, this piece is just screwed on. So I'm going to try to see if I can take it off and put a new decal right there. But moving on, still great sculpted detail all over. Look at the details there on the chest all the details here on the arms, even inside his wings here. Moving on down, more sculpted detail on the hips and thighs, down to the lower legs, got that blue, red, and green coloring, just like the G1 cartoon. I mean, this guy looks awesome in barely any backpack. He's got the dinosaur head on his back, which is part of the course for this character. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, all around, do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360. And listen to this. Ratchets. Oh, I love ratchets. He's also got a bicep bend and a bicep rotation and wrist rotations. And that's tight. I love tight joints. Let's see. There is a waist rotation. Legs can go up, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee bend and ankle tilt. And also, almost forgot, he's got articulation right here for the wings. So you can pose those any way you like. Now, as far as the accessories go, he comes with his double barrel blaster, which is spot on to the, keep holding these upside down, spot on to the Generation 1 blaster. I love that, that is so cool. So you can put that in Grimlock's hand like so. So now he's wielding his blaster, or if you don't want him holding his blaster, there's this little clip right there. So you can actually clip the blaster on to the dinosaur arm. But honestly, I don't know why you're gonna do that because that blaster just looks badass in Grimlock's hand. Now you can also use Wheelie with Grimlock, and I was messing with him just a while ago. He does have a waist rotation too. So shoulders, waist, head, hips, still needs, knees and elbows. So to interact him with Grimlock, right here on top of Grimlock's shoulders, you've got these holes. Now Wheelie works best, best with the left arm because there is a peg right there under wheelie's leg so you just get that pegged in like so it's a nice tight fit pose wheelie accordingly so there you've got wheelie sitting on grimlock's shoulder so that looks pretty cool i dig it now i do wish that grimlock came with his sword the g1 toy had the red sword along with a missile launcher but grimlock needs his sword Fortunately, my good buddy Firetox sent me one that he 3D printed. And this thing looks great and looks even better 
in the hands of Grimlock. So that is awesome. If you want a 3D printed sword from Firetox as well, I'm going to put a link to his uh, website and Facebook page in the description of this video. If you have a 3D printer, you can download the file and print that for free. And if you want one, just hit him up on his Facebook page and he will take care of you. So now let's get Grimlock transformed into dino mode. Go ahead and remove all of the accessories. I'll tell you, a wheelie really sticks on there. So the first thing we're going to do for Grimlock here is let's go ahead and move or rotate the fists around and lock those inside his wrists. Those, of course, will be the dinosaur feet. Now what you're going to do is straighten the lower arm down and it'll snap in place. Listen, there's a little clip right there so that will snap in place. So now can I move the arms out of the way? Love those ratchets. So down here for the legs, what you're going to do is take the feet and fold these down. Then take these back sections, the calves, fold these out. And you're going to take these white sections, which are the tail, and bring these up and over. Like so. So now, right here, you're going to bend these back and rotate, or not rotate, there's a little lever or a slide bar. Slide those over so you can pin the feet together, which is going to form the back of the dinosaur's tail. You got this little peg right here. Make sure you get all this pegged together. Now, right here, you see these slots? Those will line up to these little pegs right there. Get those lined up just right. There we go. Now you're going to take the dinosaur tail, bring this over and under, and let's see here. Got to manipulate that just right. So there you've got Grimlock's tail. He's got a big old, big old fat tail. So right here, now what you're going to do is take this chest section, pull it out, and you'll swing it down. Now, real quick, I want to show you right there. Those are the screws that I believe attach that clear plastic or that dark plastic right there that I'm going to try to take off later on. So you're going to slide this down, and there are pegs up in here that you want to line this up with. And also, these pegs right there. You want to make sure those go around this section. So just get lined up, squeeze together. Bring the dino legs down. Then you've got these wing sections. You're going to kind of angle these up and over. Whoops. First, take Grimlock's head and just bring it down. Now bring the wings in. Peg the chest together. Move the dino arms down. And bring the head up. And there we have Grimlock in dinosaur mode. And he is very true to the cartoon. I love the looks of Grimlock's dinosaur mode, except the back. The back just looks off to me for some reason. And this section here doesn't want to peg in real good, so you got to squeeze that together just right. But still, not a bad looking dinosaur. Great paint applications and love the sculpt work. See all the lines there on his head with the rivets? The blue eyes still has that bass boat blue. I love it. This guy looks great, except when you look at him from the front. Grimlock has no front teeth. I mean, what the hell? He looks like he's got he's on meth. I I do not like that. I don't understand why they did not give Grimlock teeth. They could have easily put some teeth in there. Now, I've heard that if you look inside, there is a little blast effect peg. So let me get a blast effect, and we'll attach that. And I've heard people say that the reason he has no teeth is so he can put in a blast effect. But I think that's a lame excuse because you can still have teeth right there and use the blast effect. So I 
don't get it. I think that was a very lame move on Hasbro's part. It really takes away a lot from the dinosaur mode, unless you're looking at him from the side. Now, as far as articulation goes, we've seen the jaw, the head can go up and down and rotate. So that's pretty cool. These little forearms, they're on a ball joint. There's ball joint there at the shoulder and elbow, nothing for the claws. And of course the legs, now remember how we locked the arms in place? Now you can bend this way or snap, not snap, yes, snap. There's a little peg right there. You'll snap that loose and that gives the dinosaur mode knees. So I dig it. This guy looks great, except for the no teeth and big fat tail. So now, real quick, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Generation 1 Grimlock. And I just noticed something. G1 Grimlock didn't have any front teeth, at least there on the top. So maybe it's a homage to the Generation 1 toy. I've never noticed that before. Weird. So now let me show you how Wheelie can interact with Grimlock. If you look around here on Grimlock's neck, he's got these little pegs that stick out, which correspond to these holes on Wheelie's inner thigh, or right there in his knee. Get this on just right. I have yet to be able to do this. Let's try this side. Well, I've done this once, or I'm missing something. No, that's where they're supposed to go. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not these little holes by the knees. It's these little holes down here by the ankles. So how this works, you just put wheelie around Grimlock's neck, and it just pegs right in. Look how easy that was. You know, maybe I should read the instructions first next time. But there you go. There is Wheelie and Grimlock. Now in dinosaur mode, Grimlock can also store his blaster. If you look right here on this side, you've got these two little pegs that stick up. These line up with these pegs right here, just above the dinosaur tail. You just peg those in. And now you have weapon storage in dinosaur mode. That looks kind of lame. So there you go, guys. One final look at Studio Series 86 Grimlock in T-Rex mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Wheelie with Generation 1 Grimlock and Wheelie. Generation 1 Classics Pretender Grimlock, and Power of the Primes Grimlock with Titan's Return Wheelie. Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Wheelie is a great set. This figure is well worth that $50 price tag. I was really impressed with him. I love the fact that the robot mode is so solid with barely any gaps aside from the arms. I do have my complaints with dinosaur mode and the fact he needs some dino dentures. Wheelie, Wheelie is what he is, so there's not really much to say about that. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Wheelie. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Wheelie belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a great Grimlock toy. And finally, a leader class figure that I didn't mind paying that leader class price for. I love this guy, though I do have a few minor nitpicks. One is Wheelie here. We didn't really need a Action Master Wheelie. If you're going to give us a Wheelie in the 86 line, give us one that actually transforms. Instead of this guy, Grimlock should have came with a proper sword. Fortunately, I know a 3D printer guy who was able to hook me up. Also, not a big fan of the Autobot logo that you can barely see through that tinted plastic. I am going to try to fix that after this review, and I'll let you know how that goes. And finally, what the hell is up with them not giving Grimlock teeth? 
That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I've heard people say it's so the blast effects will work, but why not make his jaw open wider like the Kingdom Beast Wars Megatron figure instead of making this guy look like, look like a toothless meth head? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. But other than that, this is a great figure. And if you see him on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo Okay, hold up, hold up. Before we go, let's do this decal fix. At least try it. As I thought, this pops out so easy. You just unscrew those screws right there, and that pops right out. So underneath the dark plastic, that is pretty bright, but I am going to try. Let me see. One of these Toy Hex decals, I think. This one right there, that's about the right size. So let's get that peeled off. These are the decals that you get with every Toy Hacks order. So let's see, peel that off. Oh yeah, that's a perfect fit. Now here's where my OCD kicks in. I've got to get this in just right. I am the Toy Hacks guy after all. Let's see. All right, that looks that looks good. So now let's put on the plate and see if that makes a difference. Uh a little bit. I think the white stands out more than the uh yellow. But yeah, I think that'll work. So there you go. If you've got some uh, Toy Hex decals, it's an easy fix.